Okay, continuing with the previous video, we set up a script to track when our mesh is colliding with other units in the game. And we know we're colliding with the units because we use the layer 12 and the layer 12 is always a select mesh unit. Okay, so and layer 11 is just the ground so we can actually trigger the event on every frame in the physics timer. Okay guys, so we explained this in the previous video. The on trigger stay method is called on the physics timer, so it's not called on every single frame. Okay, so we need to track. We actually need to track when a new trigger event's taken place, and that's what we're doing now. Okay. But in this video I wanted to finish this script. Uh, I want to template all of this out. We're going to make a couple of helper functions. And in the next video, we'll finish all of the functionality. So we'll be able to select units in the game using our drag mesh. So I just want to define a couple of array lists. Let's do them right on the top, actually. Of array lists at Unity Chats, they're really handy. So the first one is called Triggered Units. And this array list is going to store triggered units on every every event so every single event okay so we can say public static uh, I'm going to call this array list because C sharp array list um, triggered units equals new array list and this is going to be of type game object just so the user knows we are storing game objects or anyone who dives into your project and uh, this is it. So every time we collide with a few units, every time an event is called, we're going to store those units in the triggered units array list. So the second one is going to be called selected units, and this one stores units um, from the previous frame. So I'm just going to copy and paste this one and just replace the name selected units. So what's the difference between triggered units and selected units? Well, we want to store uh, the units from the previous frame and then we can test if those units are still triggered in the next frame. If they are, we can keep them in the, the selected units. If they're not, we can remove them. Okay, so the selected units remembers the, uh, the, the triggered units from the previous frame. The triggered units overwrites uh, on every single event. So both of them are equally important and the last one the not so important one is called new selected units why am I using this well it's just an easy way so we can overwrite the selected units with another array list so in our mouse script probably in the next video we'll go through the uh, selected units and the triggered units to determine the new selection we're going to store that selection in the in this array list so the new selected units um, so let's just say uh, store the new selection before overwriting the selected units array list. Okay, simple as that. I'm going to copy and paste this one, and I promise this is the last, the last array list. They just come in handy in Unity. And I'm going to do default this one to false. So the new trigger event when the script first loads, it's going to be false. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is just define a few helper functions. Let's make a new region, helper, helper methods, and the region. So the first one I want to do is check if the unit is in units, is unit in the selected units array list. Just a couple of um, methods to check if a if a particular unit which we pass through is going to be in this array list. So um, public static boolean unit in let's say let's say unit already in drag mesh. So the selected units array list. Let's bring in a game object and call it unit. Very similar to the thing we did in the mouse script actually. So so we can say if selected units count is zero then return false no point in doing this and then we can go ahead and do the, the loop so int i equals zero i is less than selected units count i plus plus get the unit object selected units at this current index as a game object and if the unit object is the unit we pass through, we can return true because it's inside of this array list. Simple as that. And if it's not, simply return false. 
quickly banged out that function there and uh, the other one is very similar we want to check if a unit is also in the triggered the triggered units array list so we can just replace this with triggered units it just saves us writing out loads of um, loops in our um, in our script unit already in triggered units so copy and pasting things and that's all done so th this is the only thing I wanted to do with the help of methods let's minimize these we don't need to look at them anymore so let's focus our attention on the trigger events okay so all we need to test here is uh, if the unit is not already in is not already selected add it to the triggered units that's all we want to do in this case 12 we're going to put it in this one as well let's just tidy things up so mono develop doesn't mess up so we can get the game object the unit let's call it unit game object and uh, get the collider and uh, transform parent game object so why is it the parent game object because our drag mesh only collides with our select mesh inside a unit which is invisible and the parent of this is the unit itself that's why we're getting this unit okay so after we got it we can just check if it's not already selected so if unit is not already in the, the triggered units for to start with unit game object and let's go to our mouse method which we coded a few videos ago unit already in currently selected units unit game object so if it's not selected in any way we can then just say triggered units add the unit game object simple as that I think that's all we need to do for this bit of code and I'm just going to copy and paste this and put it here after this and that is really good okay so I think that's all we need to do for this script and I'm just going to explain what we're going to do in the next video we're going to hop over to our mouse script and we're going to go to our late update and within here we're going to say when a trigger event is taking place update which units are currently triggered okay so that's what we're going to do in the next video using these array lists okay guys so in the next couple of videos we'll be complete on our game we'll have all of our selection completed and uh, it'll be a really good opportunity to move on with other mechanics in the game so thanks for watching the video guys hopefully I'll see you in the next video